So it's new tool time. I just discovered uh, these little things, which are called Clico clamps or side grip clamps. Uh, and they're really cool. They're like a little powerful spring-loaded clamp, and you use them with this tool here. So you load them into the, uh, into the tool, and then you can squeeze uh, the tool, and it opens up the jaws, and then you can clamp some stuff together. So if I can clamp these two bits of aluminium together or whatever, I can just uh, clamp that on there. And uh, and they're really strong. I can I can't even make that slide. Oh, just about just with one clamp that's on there really firmly. And uh, I bought a whole little bag of them from these guys called Skinpins.com. Um, not sponsored, of course. <laughs> uh, and they're, they're also dirt cheap somehow. They're they're really high quality little things. They're nice little. Um, Aluminium castings and a nice little machine, little uh, steel collar here that actuates them. And <clears throat> yeah, somehow they're only a couple of quid each. So yeah, totally, uh, totally recommended, I would say. So there's a little baby one. So the, they're Imperial, of course, because they're from the aircraft industry, uh, from sheet metal work. Uh, that, uh, obviously, the skin of an aircraft is um, all sheet aluminium usually. So well, probably always. Um, and yeah, that's the deal. They, uh, they're, they're much stronger than I was expecting. Like you can barely just shear that, and that's just with the little, the littler one. You can see they come in two, uh, two colours here. The brass uh, coloured ones, they're both steel, these components, but um, the brass plated ones have an inch of travel here on the spring. Well, minus the... Uh, compressed length of the spring, so probably about three quarters of an inch of 20 mil, let's say, uh, opening, and uh, and the copper ones are a little bit shorter, so uh, yeah, yeah, kind of for whatever th material thickness you need, obviously, and then also if you, it's better to use, if you've got thin material, it's better to use the clamp with the shorter travel, because obviously you're going to get more compression force uh, than you would with the bigger clamp, so obviously they give you two different sizes, so you can make that trade-off depending on uh, your material thickness. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice little uh, tool that I'd, I'd never seen before until uh, um, last week. Yeah. Highly recommended. And they're so teeny. Look, that's my hand. You know, look how tiny that is. Lovely. One quick thing to add. Uh, as well as these clamps, uh, you can also get things called Clico pins, which I think possibly even were invented before these. And they are essentially a, uh, a sort of temporary uh, removable uh, prop rivet. So again, you actuate them with this, uh, with this kind of plier tool. Uh, you drill a hole, then you squeeze your pin, put it through the hole, release it, and it then uh, grabs hold uh, just like a pop rivet would. Uh, and so obviously that's good if you can't get to the edge of something, because obviously these are only useful if you can uh, uh, grab onto the edge of something. If you've got two big sheets that come together and you want to rivet them together temporarily, or hold them together temporarily rather, um, you use the pins. Uh, and obviously it makes sense if you're doing a big... Um, sort of seam or something like you'd have on an aircraft, uh, you can get your two sheets into uh, what you think is the right place, drill a, a few holes, put the Clico pins through, and then if you're happy with it, you can obviously drill more holes, put put your rivets in and remove the Clico pins. Or uh, if you don't like the alignment and you need to modify it, uh, it's no big deal. You just uh, drill some new holes, remove the Clico pins and, and, and rearrange everything. So, yeah, also very handy, I, I expect. I didn't get any because I don't do a lot of uh, sheet metal work, but um, yeah, at least I know they exist and uh, I hope that's of some use to someone.